So yesterday you watched a video on simple harmonic motion, which means things that oscillates like springs. Um, so here we have a spring that's not stretched. It's just hanging. If you put a weight on it, the amount it stretches is X. If while it's hanging, you pull on it further, that's amplitude. And if I released it from here, it would oscillate. It would go up and down. And we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Today, we're just going to look at um, the spring constant, which is K, and then how much energy is in the spring. Uh, so the first problem we're going to do is the example on page 313, and I will attach that. So the situation of page 313 is as such. A spring stretches 0.15 meters when a 0.3 kilogram mass is hung from it. And it is then stretched an additional 0.1 meter from this equilibrium point and then released. Okay, so first part it asks A, what is the spring constant? K. Um, and we're just gonna look at these first two examples. We, we're told that the mass of the spring is 0.3 and that um, it stretched 1.15 meters when this was attached to it. Okay, so that's a mass, 0.3 kilograms. So to make it a force, we have to multiply it by 9.8. We don't know K, that's what we're solving for. But we know that it stretched 0.15 meters when that weight was attached to it. Okay, so we divide each side by 0.15, and the spring constant is 19.6 newtons per meter. And you'll need that later on. Okay. Uh, now the second part is actually going to be from uh, page 314. What is the total energy of this spring? Now we could figure out a lot of things. We could figure out how fast it would go when you released it, but we're just going to look at what is the total energy in the spring? Total energy equals one half K A squared. Now that we know K is 19.6, amplitude, remember that's when we pull it down. Um, and they told us that this was 0.1. This one was 0.15. So we take 0.1 and we square it, multiply it by a half of 19.6. And the total energy in this spring when it's stretched is 0 0.098 joules. So this should give you enough information to do a few practice problems.